Thursday, the Saturday show, read from lesson one. And this is a short story on a dance. A young man from County Court named Edward, kind of an awkward young lad, a bit of a ragamuffin, worked in the fields, left his house for an evening session. His sister invited him, for she was elder than him and more able at dance. She was to be his partner. He entered the hall just as turn and spend began. He hurried to his sister's side, and as the dance continued, he turned to go out with his corner. And he saw his corner, his third, for her father was a wealthy merchant, and she was certainly a prize in and of herself. His eyes took in every detail, her rosy cheeks, her hair down to her ankles, her bountiful amp. <laughs> he looked deeply into her eyes during siding and arming, and she looked back at him, swooning as the dance continued. As he turned back to his sister, he saw someone else dancing with her. There was poaching in this dance. He watched the looks Clario gave her new corner, and they were the same looks as what she gave him. He felt like wash water tossed out by the roadside, like a warrior who'd lost his strength in battle. He had not the constitution to watch her dance any longer and went down to the tavern. While sitting in the tavern, he tries to bolster himself by thinking, oh, she loves me. Maybe. Nay, she loves me not. <laughs> he looked out the window at a garden and found no sauce. But... And the lasting words for this is love can be fantastical and wonderful and also all too brief. So hold on, strong and faithful to love while you have it. Make it last. For it is in the simple pleasures of love that happiness can be found, even if it is for but a moment.